I'd like you to go down to the administration tab first. Administration tab first. Now notice on the left-hand side, when you uh, click on that administration tab, the left-hand panel has all of those different icons that I had once I turned on authentication on my system prior to getting into this virtual image. So for instance, if I would like to look at, let's say, my roles here. Go down to the roles on the left-hand side. This is the definitions of what can be done within the software. Now, I'd like to call your attention specifically, while you have the roles highlighted on the left, highlight the chemist role on the right-hand panel. And then in the upper ribbon, in the black space, I want you to select the second icon from the left that says Edit Role. Edit Role. Now, this is a blow-up of all of the different capabilities or privileges that this particular role has been assigned. You'll notice some of these boxes have check marks in them. If there is a check mark there, if I select the right-facing arrow to the left of, let's say, my custom tools with the check mark to the left of it, it explodes for me or expands some of the other sub-privileges that are there. Anytime you see a check mark in that square, it means that all of those sub-privileges have been activated for this role. Let's go to the um, project management. Immediately below the custom tools, select that right-facing arrow to the left of that project management, and notice that only two out of the four available, or out of the five available, one is, is defaulted on, have been activated for this particular role. Now, if I would like to edit that and give this chemist or another role that I am creating different access, then I can also select the Manage Project or Project Group Access and select the Access Content using the web client. Now, one of the privileges I am often asked more than any of the other ones, especially by lab managers, is there a way for me to be able to prevent chemists in my laboratory from doing a manual integration of a peak? They have already been trained in their compliant environment that they should not be doing any type of manual integrations at all. It's in their SOPs, but is there a systemic way, a software way to be able to make sure they cannot do a manual integration on their data? The answer to that question is yes, there is. To find that specific item, if we use the scroll bar on the right-hand side of this um, edit role window to go down a little bit more, I want you to select the right-facing arrow to the left of data processing. Data processing. That expands all the sub-privileges available for the data processing version or section of the software. One of the items about, oh, two-thirds of the way down says to do a manual integration. If I deselect that by clicking on that check mark, it deselects and therefore forbids whoever is assigned the role to do a manual integration. Now it's here, once we start manipulating the roles, we have three separate options. The first option is we can cancel out of whatever we're doing, and that's going to revert the role back to the original role that came out of the box from Agile. The second option is to click OK, which is going to overwrite the default role that Agilent gave you as the chemist role out of the box. Until you become very, very um, conscious about what all of those roles do, I suggest instead you take the third option, and that is to save as. So I'm going to select the save as icon at the bottom of this edit role window. And I am going to type in the name of my new role. I'm going to call it a rich-chemist role. You can call it whatever role you wish. But the reason I suggest you don't overwrite the roles that Agilent gives you out of the box is because there's no easy way for you to get back those default roles if you overwrite them. The only way to do that 
is to really go back to the role and undo anything that you have done here. So undo any of the changes you've made and save it back to the chemist role. So instead, I su suggest that you save the save as and click OK. And that now creates a brand new role for us in our um, list of roles that are available here. 